currently on my way home from work. Um, literally driving out of the parking lot as we speak. I am on my way to Toys R Us because I have like a thousand little kids that I have to get for for Christmas because a lot of my younger cousins are all still pretty small. So I'm gonna go to Toys R Us and see if I can knock that out and get that just like cross off my list of things to do. So let's go to Toys R Us. Totally put this on my desk. Oh, oh. I'm breaking shit. This is great. I loved this show when I was little. That's terrible that I used to watch it, but I did. Oh hell no. Why would they be selling this in Toys R Us? I should get this for my aunt as a joke. As a sick, twisted joke. Or my grandma. She would send me to church right away. Okay, I am home. Literally just closed my door. I ended up getting about six kids for my family. I got them all a present. So I'm very happy with that. So now that all the kids are out of the way, tomorrow, I think I'm like every day this week, I'm just going to finish my Christ Christmas shopping. And then next week, I'm going to start packing a little bit every day. Otherwise, I'm going to drive myself nuts if I try to do it all at the same time. So I just got home. I'm about to get changed. And then I'm just going to like eat some dinner and just relax. I'll probably watch some Mari with my parents because that's what we do here. Me and Bentley are currently watching uh, YouTube videos while I eat dinner. My dog constantly licks me. Like no matter, I don't have lotion on, nothing. Just look. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey guys, so I just got home from work. It is Friday. I thought I saw a bug on my wall. It's Friday and I am so happy that it's Friday. I just want to like cuddle in. I bought some food, so I'm going to share that with you guys because I've been obsessing over something lately and it's vegan, so I got to share that with you. But before I do, I have to share something else with you. So I know you guys know that we're moving now and me and Kyle had bought two rugs and a fireplace from Wayfair. And we hear such great things about this website and they're affordable and it's awesome. So we ordered back at the end of like November, I think, um, all that stuff. And it said everything had the same delivery date. So we ordered it, we only got one rug in the fireplace. So we were kind of like waiting on this second rug for a while and it never showed up. It was like way past the delivery date. So, um yeah so that was weird so we called wayfair and they were so nice and they helped us basically cancel that other order and they sent us a new one so that was great it got here within like one or two days and we were all set to go but so i just came home and found this original one sitting outside my door and it's gonna be really hard for you guys to see this because i'm in like the dark down here but Wayfair obviously isn't handling this. It's whoever their carrier was for this. I mean, how can you deliver something like this to someone's house? I'm just like kind of pissed about it. There's holes throughout the bag. There's pretty much like holes all throughout the bag. And I understand like it's not going to be perfect. Like this little one right here. Okay, I get it. But like, look at how big this, this is completely torn open. And it is dirty. Like, why would you even deliver that to someone's house? So I don't know what happened between it 
getting ordered and coming here that that happened but it's just like it looks it looks disgusting i don't know what the heck happened um this is the other rug that we got as a replacement for that one being lost and you can see it is completely packaged up there's like it's hard to see over there because there's no light but there's no holes in that one at all and it looks clean this one it just looks like it's been tossed around which it probably has and like tore open by animals and shit. i don't know what happened but yeah so again i called wayfair and i better leave that light on and um they were so nice and it's so easy you call them you get someone right away and they just helped me set up somebody to like you know come and pick up the rug so that's cool so i'm about to get changed really quick my parents are actually out for the weekend so I got the house to myself, which is nice. So I'm about to get changed and then I'll share with you the dinner that I have that I'm like really excited about. And I'm also going to be making dessert tonight because I've been craving dessert. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to get into what I bought for dinner. I bought stuff for Kyle too. Because he's at work right now. Oh, I'm totally cutting my head off. He's at work right now and he's not getting home until like 9.45 or so. So, so, um, I like to pick him up. I like to pick him up some dinner so then that way he has a little something when he gets here. He doesn't have to worry about it, you know. I'm thoughtful like that. Ben! I can't leave that dog by himself. Stop it. What are you doing? Are you attacking the rug? Ben, don't attack the rug. So this is what I bought from ShopRite. Um, I heard that this is basically Duncan Hines Walnut Brownie Mix and that it is vegan. And hopefully it comes out good. So I'm gonna try making that now. And then this is dinner. So lately me and Kyle have been obsessed with this sushi that I didn't even try. So we always start off with miso soup, which is freaking bomb. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this soup is bomb. It's just like a, almost like a clear soup, but it's got a little bit of tofu in it and it's very savory. So I got two soups, one for me and one for Kyle. And then I got him a side of sushi rice which it's just regular rice but it's a little bit more sticky that's what they use to make their sushi so hence sushi rice but it's just easier to eat it with chopsticks kyle loves eating food with chopsticks so now in this bag is where we have our like sushi and we always get sorry i'm gonna just get it after this Pretty sure I just spilled the sauce. This is what I normally get if we're going to eat sushi. This is their sweet potato roll and it's just basically rice seaweed and fried sweet potatoes with like a little bit of like crunchiness from the potato being fried and oh my god it is to die for. I love it. It's much heartier than actual sushi obviously because potatoes are more filling than fish. But even if I wasn't vegan, I would eat this every time I go to sushi. This is my favorite roll ever. It is so good. I love it. So this is where I am with the brownies. So I added in the whole bag of mix. I added in a tablespoon and a half of my butter, vegan butter, obviously. And then I also added in a fourth cup of canola oil and then a fourth cup of almond milk. And this is what I got. And it looks like it is the consistency of brownie mix. It's pretty thick um, and it's not too runny. So I'm gonna put this in this pan because it's literally the only pan that I have that's small enough for brownies. And um, I lined it with some coconut oil and we're gonna see how this goes. I set the oven for 350 and I'm gonna leave them in there for about 25 minutes. All right, so I put them in here and let's see what happens and they're done 
they actually look good you could see like it's still boiling in some places so I left it in there for 25 minutes and this is what it came out like I just dug a fork into it like in a whole bunch of different random places and it's coming out clean so I guess they're done I love my brownies to be fudgy and like chewy so I'm gonna leave them here and even after this I'll probably even throw them in the fridge so they can get even chewier because that's just what I like look at this hair what is happening here Ugh. I'm about to go finish my dinner. I'm watching some vlogs on YouTube because, again, I love vlogmas. I have to watch my dog because he will eat my food. Stop it. Alright, I gotta finish my dinner. I'm freaking hungry. Okay, guys. I almost forgot to tell you how the brownies turned out, which I have it right here. They actually turned out really good, but again, it's all preference. Everybody likes their brownies different, so I really like the way they turned out. They're a little, like, a little on the oily side, just because I think I used the coconut oil on top of the canola oil that was already in it, but it's nothing that I, like, can't handle, you know? Like, they're pretty good, not gonna lie. Mmm. They're so... So good. I have been craving something chocolate lately, so this hits the spot. Anyway, guys, I am going to close out this vlog for this week. Tomorrow, I'm going to be basically stuck at home because I hear that it's going to snow. And it's going to snow probably around 3 to 5 inches. Hopefully not, because then I have to shovel that. And I'm not trying to shovel that. So... Hopefully not, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm probably going to be stuck in my house, so I am going to be tackling my closet. I've kind of been putting it off, but tomorrow is the day. So maybe I'll film that for my next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.